Hey, what's up? We're gonna have a look at the Miele W1 Power Wash Twin DOS washing machine. This is one of the premium brand washers out there at the moment. Made in Germany, designed in Germany. Very, very strong and reliable. Worth every penny because they make these with really, really good materials. Now we'll be having a look at this, having a look at the features that it has, why you might consider getting one and how to use it. So to turn it on, you've got a power button just here and then the rest is just touch control over here. So we're gonna start with how to control it and then we're gonna move down to the drum, the wash capacity and how it automatically doses the washing powder and the fabric softener, which makes it effortless in every wash. To control this washer, you've, it starts with this touch panel, the screen, which has options for you. So it has programs at the start, favorite programs, and it's got a washing assistant. To select the wash cycle that you need for the clothes that you have, you just touch on programs. And then as you can see down there, it's got cottons, delicates, drain, minimum iron, woolens, shirts. And as you scroll to the right, there's a progress bar at the bottom there that shows you how far you're up the menu. It's got loads and loads of wash cycles, like steam care, express 20 minute wash, and a quick power wash, automatic plus, freshen up, dark garments. Now, these are just like different variations of preset temperature and spin speed to optimize for every piece of fabric that you have. So they'll, they'll take different times and they'll do it just right for whatever fabric you have. And Miele is really, really famous for being delicate on your clothes, whatever you're washing, you know that it will come out right. It won't ruin your clothes. So just keep going down this menu. You can see how many things it's got. It's even got curtains. I wouldn't wash curtains in there or pillows but it's got those options in there. This thing is heavy, heavy duty. But if you want it to last a long time, I wouldn't suggest washing things like curtains and pillows in there because those things are just heavy. They just soak up so much water like a sponge and before you know it, it's weighing like 10, 15, 20 kilos. So you wanna make sure you stay clear of washing big items like that. So we're gonna select maybe like a quick 20 minute wash. So we go on to Express 20. So whenever you go into these, it shows you how much you can wash. The maximum is 3.5. Obviously, this is just a guide, so you can put up as much as you want, but to be optimal, 3.5 is the maximum that you can wash with that. With this one, it has a maximum wash capacity of nine kilos. I'll show you later how to properly load any front load washing machine without trying to measure, is this 3.5, is this nine kgs? I'll show you how to properly measure a wash load. You've got your temperature here where it says temperature, and then you've got your spin speed. I say spin speed, 1200 RPM. Now obviously you can change all those settings by simply pressing and touching on those controls and then it'll set it to whatever you want. But just remember that whatever you select, it's gonna change the time that it's gonna take to do the cycle. You can make it slower and then go, okay. Temperature wise, you can go, all right. It only goes from cold to 40 degrees. That's because it's preset. If you put it up, you can't do a 60 degree wash in a 20 minute wash cycle because it needs to heat up the water to get it to that 60 degree. So obviously these are preset. Then with every wash cycle, you've got your twin dose. So twin dose is more about how it automatically dispenses the washing liquid and the fabric softener. Now this is different from other washing machines that have containers on your top left there where you can just pour it in there. Miele actually has their own one which they sell and whenever you buy these they'll have vouchers and I'm sure you get a good pricing on the automatic dispensing washing liquid or washing powder. It will be a lot of liquid or powder so it's pretty good liquid actually. Then to start a cycle you simply press that start stop button. Once you get used to this it's way way easy to use this washing machine but i can understand for anyone who's new to this it might take a bit of time to get used to this interface 
but when you get used to it, it'll be a walk in the park. So if you wanna cancel that and get back to the main menu, you just simply press that home button and you've got favorite programs which you can actually store in here. So you can see there's already like a daily cold wash, del cold delicates, delicates whites, and you can create your own cycle as well, which you can choose and then create. So that every time you come to the washer, you're not having to select a new cycle, select the temperature, select the spin speed, everything is set already for you previously. So you can do that in your own time to save yourself time preparing for a wash. Then you've got a washing assistant. So this is just to, it handles, it's more for personalizing the wash cycle that you wanna do. Say you've got like cottons, but they're lightly colored or they're darkly colored or they're colored. So you can, this thing just goes down to that, those fine nitty gritties and then it goes lightly soiled, normally soiled, heavily soiled. So this is, you can think of this as a surgeon, as a precision washing machine. It's different from all the other washing machines that just to everything in general, just as cottons or delicates in general. This one, when you use that washing assistance, it's gonna do the optimum wash for whatever fabric you have how colored it is and how dirty it is, thereby saving you electricity, water, and even washing powder or washing liquid because then it's not putting too much, it's knowing how much to put in and how much to heat up the water to and not heat it up too much. So that's pretty good. This washing assistant is a pretty, pretty good thing to have on your washing machine. Hopefully we see other manufacturers doing the same thing. I know Samsung AI does that tries to do a bit of that but with melee it's more advanced than that then you can simply go back to these three menus then you've got others uh, so you've got other menus there which are like mixed items which is like you can select what you're mixing which is uh, going back to what we say that is, is a precision washing machine it's more than just a put it all in there and then just wash it on a mixed load. You can actually tell it what you're washing. So you can go, I'm washing bras and lingerie. And then you go, okay, I'm gonna tick that. I'm gonna mix, mix that with blouses. So you're gonna tick that and then, okay, what else is in there? Oh, there's a bit of nightwear in there. So as you're going there, you just, oh, and then there's socks in there. You're just selecting whatever you've put in there, like swimwear and all that. And you can do this, you can actually save this as a favorite so that you don't have to do this all the time. If you know that you're always going to the beach and you're always like washing the same things, you can do that to this one. And then you can just go like that. So you can add a delicate detergent to compartment two. So this thing will want, because I haven't loaded it with the automatic dispensing liquid in there, it needs me to add it in there. But once you have that in there, then it's ready to start that cycle. So, and it's showing you the temperature that it's gonna take wash at and the spin speed that it's going to spin at. And it's showing you that it's going to be dosing this thing automatically. It's gonna be putting in the washing liquid or the fabric softener automatically into the washing machine. And then it shows you the number of items in there. Shows you the time that it's gonna take. It's gonna take about an hour, 37 minutes to do that cycle. And the current time is about 22 past three. So it shows you all those options which you can then, uh, it'll help you to do your cycles. And then if you wanna go back to the main menu, you just click that home button. It's pretty simple, user intuitive when you're used to this wash. And there's not too many buttons which can get ruined or fail. It's just the only button you have, the only physical button you have is the power button, which you press, turns on, melee, welcome and it goes on. To load your washing liquid or fabric softener, you got two options. You can have it automatically dispensing the liquid, which is what they call the twin dose system. And then you've got the normal, like manual adding of the washing powder or the washing liquid, which will be done in this compartment. For those that wanna use automatic dispensing, this tab is what you use. In here, you'll have 
two packs, one you put on the left and one on the right. One is for washing liquid and the other one is for fabric softener. Now these, you can just go to Woolies or whatever your department store is and buy them. These will only be sold at specialized melee distributors. They can sell those to you. Easy to get, but they'll last you a long time because this is pretty deep and it dispenses just the right amount of liquid or softener. And then if you ever get stuck, you can always use the manual addition, which is in here. To add washing liquid or washing powder, you use this drawer, which is simply pulling this down. And then you put your washing powder in here, your pre-wash, things like bleach or vanish nappy sand, stain removal things, you put them in there. Your softener goes in this compartment right here. When you're ready to wash, push that in, select your cycle, then you can start your wash cycle. In terms of loading up your washing, the door opens from the left to the right. This is done so that if you have a matching dryer, it sits to the left of the washer so much that when you're done washing, you can take your washing straight out of the washer and into the washing machine, which opens from the right to the left, which will be good in some laundry settings. And you, as you can see, there is a light in there, meaning that you don't, you can see everything that you're doing. You won't leave any socks in there or any towels, things that you won't be able to see in the dark, which is pretty, pretty good. Most washing machines now, those that are premium, especially from a Millai like this, you need that convenience lighting. It just adds a touch of class to this washing machine. And you can see the honeycomb design that Miele has had for years, which is really good and gentle on your clothes. In terms of loading up this washer, this is a nine kilo. You need to make sure that you're only putting it up to halfway up the, halfway up there. So most times you won't know how much is seven kgs, how much is six kgs. The safest way is if you're putting in things more than halfway up the door, you're overloading the washing machine. On the bottom left here, we have our drain, our filter. So every, all the lint, everything left in your pockets, it all comes down in there. So you wanna be checking that every three to four months, just depending on how often you wash and how good you are at checking your pockets. You can check it every month because you don't wanna get a coin stuck in there or not open it for too long. And then when you go to open it, because these, if you twist them anti-clockwise, they come off. Uh, you might wanna put a towel underneath. You don't have to lift the whole thing, it's pretty heavy. You can just put a little towel here and then you can twist this anti-clockwise until it comes all the way out. Then you can just clean out all the lint and coins, anything that you've left in your pockets, it'll end up in there. You don't wanna have it so clogged up that when you try to open it, it won't open because there's just so much gunk left in there. So you wanna make sure you're checking that often. That is one of the most important rules with most washing machines, always check the filter. When you're done and ready to start washing, you just close the door. It simply closes nicely. There's no resistance. There's no door handles for you to be breaking, which is good. And I like and love this premium feel to this door. It's not like your normal washing machine door, which you get. This one has this plastic bit here that protects you. If it's hot in there, your kid won't come around and touch the door and then burn themselves because these things get a bit hot on those high wash settings like 60 degree washes and 70 degree washes. So you want to have this safety on there. In terms of pricing, this can cost you a bit of money. The way I like to think about this, this is an investment. You buy your house, you buy whatever you buy, maybe you upgrade a phone every three, four years. This washer is well worth it because you can have it going for about 10 years or so. So this is something that you can get if you've got the money for it. Melee is pretty good with the warranties and it's just a nice product to have, especially when you start washing with it, you notice the difference in your clothes. They don't take out color as much. It's just so gentle on the clothes. So it might cost a lot for 
a lot of people, but you don't necessarily need to get this model. You can get the other models. Miller is making now more affordable models for that lower end that people want to have the same tech that is in all Miller washing machines. Hey, I post a lot of videos on these new washing machines and other models that come out. I also post videos on repairs to the problems that might come up with these washing machines. So be sure to hit that subscribe button as I'll be posting videos in the future and I've already posted positive videos on the problems that might come up with these washers. So you might save yourself a lot of headaches, time and money if you hit that subscribe button. And of course, hit the like button if you're finding any value in this video because it goes a long way to support this channel to be able to keep providing content like this. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you on the next one.